From its pristine beaches to its lush marshes, St. Simons Island is nothing short of paradise. Located just off the southeast Georgia coast, the island has served as a haven for people looking to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Each year, thousands of people come here to visit the island and are enchanted by its beauty, so much so that many choose to make it their permanent home. In this video, we're going to look at the top reasons that make St. Simons Island such an amazing place to visit and to live. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Ken Salcedo. I'm a realtor with Signature Properties here on St. Simons Island. And I'm one of those people who came to the island as a tourist, fell in love with it, and eventually moved here permanently. It's an easy thing to do, and each year hundreds of people do just that. What makes living here on the island so special, and why should you consider coming to this magical place? Well, in this first video of a two-part series, we're going to be looking at the top 10 reasons that make St. Simon's Island such a great place to visit and to live. But before we look at those, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to this channel so you can get the latest content about St. Simon's Island and what makes living here so special. Okay, reason number one, the friendliness. St. Simon's Island is not your average beachside community. It has an incredibly relaxed vibe where people take their time and they embrace what we call island time. There's not a whole lot of commercial activity here, and when you stroll through the village, which is the area with the lighthouse and the pier, it has more of a small town feel than a holiday destination. Folks in the area are friendly, and they're always willing to have a chat, especially if you show up with your pup. All in all, St. Simons has a Mayberry at the Beach feel to it. Reason number two, the food. It is a commonly accepted fact on the island that if an eatery is successful enough to stay open, it's likely to be good. National franchises are few and far between here, with the majority of restaurants being locally owned and operated. These establishments offer a diverse selection of cuisines, from prize-winning Southern Soul Barbecue to Barbara Jean's renowned crab cakes. And don't forget that wild Georgia shrimp that can be found in several eateries on the island. People from around the world come to St. Simon's Island thanks to renowned author Eugenia Price and her acclaimed St. Simon's Trilogy. This collection of novels, which include Lighthouse, New Moon Rising, and Beloved Invader, are all inspired by actual individuals and events that occurred on the island during the 1700s and the 1800s. Fans of the series come to the island to discover our next two features that make St. Simon's great, its history, and the landmarks associated with it. In 1736, General Oglethorpe constructed Fort Frederica to secure the British settlement of Savannah, as well as a town with the very same name. The ruins of the fortification are still intact, and one can even spot the streets where the colonists resided. Around that same period of time, they also established the nearby historic Christ Church, the St. Simon's Lighthouse, initially constructed in 1810 and later reconstructed in 1872 after its destruction during the Civil War, stands as St. Simon's most prominent and defining landmark. Well, we're halfway to completing our list of the 10 reasons that make St. Simon's Island such a great place to be. So join us next week as we continue looking at the remaining six. And remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that you can get the latest content about St. Simon's Island and the Golden Isles. So until next time, this is Ken Saucedo hoping that all of you have a wonderful island day.